Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today with this Python code, we'll calculate five top KPIs for warehouse. Let's start with post libraries. In this case, we just need pandas and numpy. So we import pandas as pd and numpy as np. Then we generate sample warehouse data with numpy and then with pandas. So in this case, item ID, actual inventory, recorded inventory, correct orders, total orders, doc to, talk, doc to stock time, order cycle time, use space, total space, and then we use numpy random for make it. Then we created our data frame. So data frame is equal to PD, pandas, data frame, and then data. The next step, calculate the top uh, five KPIs. We're starting with inventory accuracy. So we, we create the new column, inventory accuracy, in which case we will be dividing actual inventory column by recorded inventory column multiplied by 100. Then we have the second one, order picking accuracy. In this case, the new column, order picking accuracy is equal to correct order divided by Total orders multiplied by 100. Third one is average dog to stock cycle time in hours. In this case, it will be average dog to stock stock is equal to data frame, dog to stock times, and then we're using mean formula for this one. Then we have average order cycle time in hours. Average order cycle is equal to data frame, order cycle time, and then we're using mean formula. Next thing is space utilization. In this case, we create the new, uh, the new column, space utilization, which is equal to uh, data frame, user space, divided by total space, multiplied by 100. The last thing could be split to our results. In this case, we're using KPI summary. Inventory accuracy is equal to inventory accuracy mean. Order and pick accuracy percentage is equal to order picking accuracy mean. Average dog to stock cycle time and hours is equal to average dog to stock. Uh, average dog to stock, average order cycle time in hours is equal to average order cycle, average space utilization is equal to a data frame space utilization mean. Then we have uh, for the for statement for KPA, KPA value in KPA summary items, we'll be printing KPAs and the values, in this case inventory accuracy, order and picking accuracy, average dog to stock cycle times, average order cycle time, and average space utilization. Okay, that's a bit for this video. Thank you for watching.